Hello viewers. In this video, I will discuss the attachments on the fibula. Right? And fibula is a very thin bone. This medial surface is very small. See, this is the anterior border, this is the medial border, and this one is the medial surface. This is lateral surface, and this one is the posterior surface, right? So the surfaces actually the attachments on the fibula they they are divided on their individual parts so i have made a diagram which will show you the attachments right let's come to the medial surface medial surface i have already shown this smaller one right so i have drawn a medial surface right medial surface is between anterior interior and interosseous border right so in between anterior and interosseous border is the medial surface right so interosseous or medial border right so uh, uh, i have divided this medial surface into three areas upper one third middle two fourth and lower one third right from the upper one third one fourth sorry and the anterior part of the middle two fourth there is origin of the muscle called extensor digitorum longus right from the posterior two fourth the muscle which arises is extensor hallucis longus extensor digitorum longus extensor hallucis longus extensor digitorum longus from the upper one fourth and anterior part of the middle two fourth right from the remaining posterior part of the middle two fourth arises the extensor hallucis longus now the part main is the lower one fourth from where the peroneus tertius arises so this is medial surface now come to the lateral surface right lateral surface again i have divided it into three parts one third one third one third right so lateral surface two muscle uh, arises peroneus longus and peroneus brevis right the third muscle peroneus tertius i have already discussed its origin from the lower one fourth of the medial surface from the lateral surface we have only two muscles longus and brevis peroneus longus and peroneus brevis peroneus longus arises from the this is the lateral surface lateral surface is between the anterior border and the posterior border right so from the upper one third and the posterior part of the middle one third arises a pastorian peroneus longus right and from the middle one third and the lower one anterior part of the middle one third and the lower part of the one um, lower one third arises a peroneus brevis right so these are the muscles on the medial and lateral surface which surface we are left with posterior surface so i have already discussed this posterior surface posterior surface it is divided into two parts by a crest right so this is the posterior surface right posterior surface is divided by a crest into two parts right this is the crest which is present in the upper three fourth into the this grooved part and the posterior part from this grooved part i have drawn arises the tibialis posterior so this is i have drawn this is the posterior surface posterior surface is between the this interosseous border and the posterior border right so that grooved surface this is a medial crest which divides it into two parts the anterior grooved part tibialis posterior arises from this part right and the posterior part i have divided it into two parts upper fourth one fourth gives origin to the soleus and lower and the lower three fourth gives origin to the flexor hallucis longus flexor hallucis longus right so posterior i repeat posterior surface right the grooved surface in between the interosseous border and medial crest gives origin to tibialis posterior and the posterior the posterior surface upper one fourth give rise to soleus and the lower three fourth give rise to flexor hallucis longus upper one fourth is soleus where is is was its insertion if we remember on the tbr soleal line right so these are the three surfaces now i will discuss the we have borders anterior posterior and interosseous border so anterior border gives attachment to the anterior intermuscular septum here i will show you this is the anterior border right where i have shown you i have shown you this one is was the anterior border and in the lower part it it gets divided into this this triangular area right so 
so anterior intermuscular septum of the leg is attached onto the whole margin of the anterior border right now the superior extensor retinaculum it, its attachment is on the lower part anterior margin of the triangular area and on from the posterior margin of the triangular area arises the attachment of the superior peroneal retinaculum right similarly the posterior border give attachment to the posterior intramuscular septum and interosseous border give attachment to the interosseous membrane right the triangular area above the medial surface of the lateral medullus right we have a triangular area above the medial surface of the med it is one this gives attachment to the interosseous tibiofibular ligament right the attachment to the lateral medullus are anterior tibiofibular ligament inferior transverse tibiofibular ligaments right now we have, we have a groove on the posterior surface of this uh, groove on the posterior surface of the medullus so this groove this from this and this groove actually lodges the tendon of peroneus tertius uh, brevis and peroneus longus peroneus brevis lies deep and the peroneus longus is superficial right now one more thing is important regarding this bone is that fibula violates the law of ossification because the secondary center which appears first in the lower end does not fuse last right so this is all about the fibula thank you very much students